Your Excellency, Mr. Edgar Lungu, President of the Republic of Zambia, and Her Excellency, Mrs. Esther Lungu. Your Excellencies, my dear sisters, First Ladies of Africa, Honorable Ministers, Chairman of MEG, Professor Frank, the Chief Executive Officer of MEG Foundation, Dr. Raja Kelish, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I wish you a very good afternoon. It gives me great pleasure today to be with you at the eighth edition of the Africa Asia Luminary as we celebrate the fourth anniversary of MERC Foundation. Let me thank the government of Zambia and MERC Foundation for hosting. I know that there are over 2,000 participants in attendance at this conference. Among them, healthcare providers and policymakers from more than 70 countries. It is gratifying to meet you all once more virtually during these difficult times when the world battles the COVID-19 pandemic. We all wish for those days when we could meet in person to share our valuable experiences and ideas. As with all of us, I'm optimistic that the opportunity to meet again will come by when this disruption is all over. This global conference gives us an opportunity as African First Ladies to make reflections on progress that we have made since we began our journey with the MEC Foundation. Today, we share our invaluable experiences and ideas, which will help us chart a way forward in addressing health challenges that affect our people, particularly women. Ladies and gentlemen, MEC Foundation has shown selfless commitments to advancing healthcare in strengthening the public sector across Africa, Asia, and the globe. The philanthropic efforts of this foundation are greatly contributing to the development of many of our countries, including Botswana, of course. Our strategic relationship with Merck Foundation is one of those global partnerships that is a clear demonstration that a do-it-alone approach matters on matters that affect human development is not sustainable. Thus, as Africa's first ladies, our combined strengths and abilities through the Merck Foundation have so far produced positive results. Through the Merck Foundation, we have managed to provide leadership in building quality and equitable healthcare, breaking the stigma of infertility and contributing to efforts aimed at ending gender-based violence. For instance, in Botswana, Merck Foundation provided scholarships to more than 32 Botswana doctors in different critical specialties, such as diabetes, cardiovascular preventive, preventive, oncology, respiratory medicines, acute medicines, and sexual and reproductive medicines. As a result of these efforts, at least eight doctors completed a one-year diabetes diploma, out of which two candidates have further enrolled in a one-year master's degree course. In addition, at least 13 doctors have been enrolled in a one-year diploma in cardiovascular preventive endocrinology, acute medicines, and respiratory medicines from South Wales University in the United Kingdom. Considering the limited number of gynecologists in my country, we also enrolled seven doctors to a one-year online postgraduate diploma and a two-year master's degree in sexual and reproductive health medicine at the University of South Wales. As we continue, on this journey, we're exploring ways to expand this program to cover more specialties, including one-year diploma and two-year master degree in psychological therapies, orthopedic trauma science, pediatric emergency medicine, just to mention a few. These programs are important for my country as they mitigate shortage of local healthcare specialists, especially in the public sector. My office is working closely with government stakeholders through our Ministry of Health and Wellness to make sure that Botswana takes advantage of this unique opportunity, which will significantly improve women's health in general. As a woman and as Merck more than a mother ambassador, I'm very attached to issues of women's and girls' health in my country and Africa at large. I'm determined more than ever before to contribute towards efforts that aim to improve women's health and general well-being. Through the opportunities offered by the Merck Foundation, 
I want to encourage all of us, First Ladies, to establish a strong network of fertility and reproductive care experts in Africa with the view to empower women who have difficulties in conceiving and to support couples as much as possible to deal with issues of infertility in a more productive way. We should ensure, we should also ensure we raise awareness amongst our male partners about the realities of male, male infertility while educating society to, so infertility stigma is erased. Ladies and gentlemen, we know that gender-based violence is one of the many challenges that the world has been grappling with for many years. We saw an alarming increase during the COVID-19 period. Africa and of course Botswana have not been spared. During 2020, the Botswana Police Service recorded an increase of 7.4% in gender-based violence-related offences as compared to 2019. The pre-existing gender inequalities, which mainly affect women and girls, are made worse by aspects of our culture, our customs and traditions that exist in our communities. We are all aware that gender-based violence is destructive to our economies as it seriously undermines our efforts to achieve sustainable development goals. We have to deal with the scourge, ensuring the elimination of this social ill completely from our society. Despite government's efforts, including those of the country's highest political leadership, the private sector, the leisure sector, traditional leadership, civil society organizations, and the general public at ending gender-based violence, it is clear that we are a far cry away from winning this battle as we continue to see escalating incidents of violations. I'm pleased to share that Met Foundation has come forward to support my accelerated advocacy efforts at fighting gender-based violence. Thus, in partnership with the foundation, we have partnered on a GBV poster contest with the aim to stop gender-based violence. The poster contest committee has selected the 13 most creative and inspiring work calling for the fight against GBV. The award ceremony is planned for next month, which will be followed by a compilation of all submissions into a publication. I third thank Merck Foundation for the immense support, and I'm extremely excited about it. I want to also express appreciation to the Chief Executive Officer of Merck Foundation, Dr. Raja Kellis, for joining me virtually during the Cycling Against GBV campaign, which I launched in 2020. The cycling event, where I cycled in six locations around the country, was held under the theme Stop GBV, Stand Against Gender-Based Violence and, Abu and Child Abuse. May I also appreciate the Merck Foundation for their response to the COVID-19 pandemic, particularly for providing online specialty training in relevant fields. These programs are definitely valuable as they contribute towards strengthening capacity in our healthcare systems. Finally, let me express my profound gratitude to your excellencies, distinguished participants from healthcare providers, academia, policymakers and media for taking part in this very important event, which will go a long way in supporting our healthcare sector reforms and contribute towards improved health outcomes on the continent and beyond. Please continue adhering to the COVID-19 health protocols in your respective countries. And I thank you for your attention. To you mothers, the aunts, the fathers, the grandmothers, May I wish you a happy Mother's Day in advance. Thank you.